body hmm, length of a plane curve what is this um, suppose we have a curve we don't need any deduction over here all right um, we don't need any deduction any mathematical deduction any theorem just we need to know uh, some formula and by the help of those formula we just need to um, solve some problems out there hmm. So um, the basic idea is that uh, if you want to find out the volume and the length of this kind of um, curves, hmm, in that case, uh, what you need to do, you need to uh, first uh, divide these curves into small and small segments, and then um, add all the length of these curves. And you see, uh, a small segment of a curve can be considered to be equal to a straight line. Okay. That is the basic idea behind it. Hmm. And uh, through this kind of different uh, intermediate results, we finally get the length of the curve in this fashion. Hmm. And suppose uh, this is the point, and this is the point where this is the point. Hmm. Uh, suppose over here x is equal to a. Okay and um, over here suppose x is equal to b all right x is equal to b then uh, within these two uh, limits x is equal to a to b within these two limits x is equal to a to b we have to uh, find out the integral of this expression that would be the uh, that would be equal to the length of the curve in between x is equal to a and x is equal to b what is this row square root of 1 plus f dash x whole square or it can also be written in this fashion you see f dash x if y is taken as equal to fx hmm. if y is taken as equal to f of x in that case this f dash x that would be actually our uh, dy dx got it therefore this f dash x uh, this f dash x will be represented in terms of this dy dx so we can represent this integral as the integral from a to b uh, square root of uh, 1 plus dy dx whole square okay uh, now you see uh, suppose uh, if the curve is represented in parametric form hmm, and the parametric form like uh, you see in case of a circle uh, we have a equation of parametric equation x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to uh, r sin theta something like that so there theta is the parameter so sometimes uh, we represent uh, x as uh, some function of the parameter t and similarly uh, y as a function of the parameter t for example you can consider the uh, for another example you can consider the parabola y square is equal to 4ax hmm. you can consider this uh, parabola 4ax Hmm. What is the parametric equation? The parametric equation is x is equal to a t square, y is equal to twice a t. So that is this is the parametric representation. This is the parametric representation of uh, this kind of parabola. Y square is equal to four x. Therefore, you see this expression is a function of t, f of t. Hmm. And this expression would be another function, maybe phi of t. Got it? So that's why we write x as a function of t and y as a function of t. Hmm. And in such cases, you see dy dx, this derivative dy dx can be written as the ratio of two derivatives. One is dy dt divided by dx dt. Hmm. So dy dx can be written as the ratio of these two quantities. Hmm. So if we put uh, dy dx is, uh, over here, let me uh, show you the uh, this much uh, computation portion. Suppose over here, let me show you this much computation. Hmm. Uh, the total formula is integral from a to b. Integral, integral from a to b. Let me magnify this a bit. Hmm. A to B square root of 1 plus dy dx hmm. dy okay. dy 
dx whole square then dx you see this expression can be written in this way hmm? this expression is dy dx in terms of parametric form this uh, dy dx you see this dy dx can be written as equal to uh, as equal to dy dt dy dt divided by dx dt hmm? dx dt okay so uh, you see this dy dx can be written in parametric form in this fashion so if we put uh, this expression over here if we put this expression over here in terms of dy dx we can write it in this way hmm? then you see this dx can also be written over here in this way dx is equal to dx dt into dt all right and therefore this expression can be written as you see over here and this is actually dy dt whole square divided by dx dt whole square so we can write it in this way dy dt whole square divided by dx dt whole square hmm. so we omit this square and now we can take lcm hmm. if we take this lcm over here we will have dx dt whole square plus dy dt whole square got it we will have this type of expression and out of this hmm, if we further take this kind of expression suppose uh, one we keep this numerator over here hmm, and if you want to find out uh, if you want to take this d, dx dt whole square out of this and square root symbol then what we will have we will have this type of expression 1 by dx dt only hmm. and this dx dt will get cancelled with this dx dt got it this dx dt this dx dt will get cancelled with this dx dt so effectively we shall have only this much you see this dx dt will get cancelled with this dx dt so effectively we have this type of formula that square root of dx dt whole square plus dy dt whole square into dt and over here we have this formula Hmm. So, I am showing this result. Oh, I forgot to mention that uh, over here in the form, the integral is written, is to be written in the lower limit and upper limit. This two upper limit and lower limit should be written in terms of uh, t, of course, because uh, the total integral has been converted in terms of t. So, how to find out uh, these two t1 and uh, t1 and t2, suppose the lower limits are t1 and t2, how is it possible? Suppose x at the point t1. Hmm. This x at the point t1 is equal to a, okay, and uh, x at the point t2 is equal to b in, in terms of parameter. So, in that case, these integrals would be transformed uh, from t1 to uh, t1 to t2. Got it? So, in this way, we will have to change the corresponding limits. So all these limits, I, as because the integral is to be written in terms of the parameter t, so all these such limits should be changed in terms of t. Just because I am showing the uh, reason behind it that I am showing this uh, computation is that sometimes you generally forget uh, this kind of formula in exam. Okay. So if by chance you forget this kind of formula, uh, so from this original formula, you can easily deduce uh, this formula that is my intention okay so you can uh, keep this much deduction in your mind so that if you by chance forget uh, this kind of formula in exam you can easily deduce all these results over here hmm? so these are the uh, corresponding um, results uh, for parametric curves okay in this way we can find out the uh, length of uh, a curve in parametric form hmm? And uh, if suppose the curve is given in terms of polar form, hmm, like this r is equal to f of theta. Okay. If the curve is given in, in polar form, r is equal to f of theta. In that case, um, by different uh, intermediate computation, we ultimately get this result as equal to 
say theta uh, varying from theta 1 to theta 2 uh, square root of r square plus uh, dr d theta whole square d theta. Mm -hmm. So you just uh, remember this uh, formula, then uh, this formula, and then 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 this formula. Okay, this three formula would be sufficient for this chapter. All right. In this way, we can find out the uh, length of a given curve. Mm -hmm. And mostly, you will get very uh, short question, not very large questions. Hmm? Maybe of two or three marks uh, from this chapter. How? You see uh, over here, you can uh, find the um, length of the circumference of the circle. Hmm? Uh, we uh, we may have this kind of circle. All right. And suppose uh, this this one is this is the y-axis and then this is the x-axis. Hmm. And this is the uh, this x square plus y square is equal to 25 this is actually the equation of a circle with center situated at the origin and what is the radius the radius is equal to 5 unit hmm. the radius is equal to 5 unit okay so over here uh, we can uh, now compute the area of um, we can find now find out the length of the circumference we know that the uh, formula for length of the circumference of the uh, circle is equal to uh, twice pi a. All right. Hmm. But over here, uh, we can we don't need to directly apply this formula. Rather, we need to find out the same kind of result through the integral formula. This kind of integral formula square uh, integral from a to b and integral from a to b uh, 1 plus dy dx whole square dx so let us first try to find out the what is the what would be the expression of 1 plus dy dx hmm. you see we already got the expression of x square plus y square is equal to 25 so if from this result if we differentiate uh, this expression with respect to x. Let me show you over here. Hmm. Uh, suppose the formula is uh, x square plus y square is equal to 25. Then differentiate it with respect to x. What will you get? You will get twice x plus twice y into dy dx. Hmm. Into dy dx. That is equal to 0. So from this result we can find the expression of dy dx. This dy dx, this dy dx would be is equal to uh, how, how much uh, that dy dx would be is equal to x by y. x by y with a negative sign. Hmm. With a negative sign. Got it? So in this fashion, you can find the expression of dy dx. So over here, they have just put the expression of dy dx is equal to negative of x by y. And um, ne negative of x by y, just uh, now over here, after taking this LCM, you see we have x square plus y square, that is equal to 25. Hmm. So we have put x square plus y square is equal to 25 over here. Hmm. And uh, what we get, we ultimately get this kind of expression and that is a function of y only. Hmm? But um, over here in this formula, you see, uh, this formula is to be in, uh, converted in terms of x because over here the integration is taken in terms of x from e lower limit e to the upper limit b. Hmm? So over here, um, we have to convert this expression, this expression into in terms of x. That's why over here y square, this y square has been written as equal to 25 minus x square from this formula. Hmm. Y square has been written as equal to 25 minus x square. Now how to find out the length uh, of, the, um, of this curve? Hmm. We need the lower limit and upper limit of x. So it is clear that uh, the length in first quadrant, in the second quadrant, in the third quadrant and in the fourth quadrant and the length of the circumference of this circle in all these four qu fourth quadrants are equal. So we better find out the length of uh, the circumference within this first quadrant. 
and multiply it by 4 that's why they have mentioned 4 multiplied by the length of the uh, curve in the first quadrant hmm. and in the first quadrant it is easy to uh, find out the lower and upper limit of x how you see in this kind of point at this kind of point what would be the coordinate of this point hmm? the coordinate of this point is equal to 5 not 5 x is this this should be is equal to x 0 comma 5 hmm. 0 comma 5 and this point is equal to 5 comma 0 got it so this much these are the two uh, end points of this curve this is one end point and this is another end point and in this first end point what is x x is equal to 0 hmm. and in this last end point what is x x is equal to 5 that's why the lower limit of x would be from 0 to 5 you see over here from 0 to 5 we get this integral so lower limit should be from 0 upper limit would be 5 hmm. and so over here we just multiply it by 4 why because ultimately we need to uh, multiply by the, multiply the total length by 4 that's why we have this 4 over here hmm. otherwise uh, the integral is from 0 to 5 uh, 1 plus dy dx this is the expression of 1 plus dy dx hmm. uh, sorry square root of 1 plus dy dx we need to find out the square root of 1 plus dy dx we already got the expression of 1 plus dy dx so square root of 1 plus dy dx has to be written over here hmm. this is the expression of square root of uh, 1 plus dy dx so after that uh, just it is a matter of ordinary integral hmm. so by integration we get this result uh, 10 pi and you see by this formula twice pi a we would get the same result because over here a is equal to 5 unit so if you put a is equal to 5 you would also get the same result 10 pi got it so by the uh, by the help of uh, this kind of formula we uh, find that we are ultimately be able to find out the length of this kind of simple curve the curve is simple over here because we know the formula for finding the sat but uh, if we don't know the formula then by this kind of uh, technique we can obtain the length of the curve hmm. and uh, similar problem is there if you consider this kind of parabola y squared is equal to 16x hmm. you see um, you can find out the length of this kind of curve like um, 4 into root over of 2 plus log of 1 plus root over of 2 so I am leaving this kind of uh, formula for you hmm. and uh, you can also uh, consider this kind of figure 16.11 hmm. uh, where is that figure let me uh, no 16.11 this is a three chapter number 17 16 is the previous chapter let me show you the figure over here hmm. the the figure of the cycloid as i told you earlier uh, in the last day let me show you the picture this is the cycloid and uh, the question says that let me close this file the question says that determine the length of one a arc of the cycloid x is equal to a into theta minus sin theta y is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta hmm and what would be this figure this figure is actually nothing but uh, this figure hmm. this is the figure and one arc of the cycloid that means in starting from the point o to the point o prime hmm. Star, uh, starting from the point o to the point o prime we will have to find out the length of this much arc arc length got it now how to find out this this length over here uh, the parameter has been taken as theta in this file and in the previous file the parameter has been taken as t so uh, it doesn't matter whether it is theta or t so what to do we need to find the we, we observe over here that uh, the equation is given in parametric form so in case of parametric form what is the formula this is the formula hmm. uh, over there the parameter was equal to t and uh, in this question the parameter is equal to over here the parameter is equal to theta so 
what we need to compute we need to compute dx d theta whole square plus dy d theta whole square and uh, after computation we get this type of expression and i told you in the last class that uh, over here the parameter varying from 0 to up to this point the value of the parameter is equal to twice pi hmm. i told you uh, everything all about uh, this uh, cycloid in the last one so the range of the parameter should be from 0 to twice pi okay that's why you see over here the integral from 0 to twice pi square root of this expression square root of this expression means square root of this expression so twice a sine theta by 2 this is the expression hmm. so from 0 to twice pi uh, square root of uh, dx d theta whole square plus dy d theta whole square multiplied by d theta so after that you just need to integrate it and after integration you would be able to find out the length of this curve got it so in this fashion you just need to uh, find out the length of this kind of curves for example over here you consider this uh, polar coordinates hmm. and there this is the uh, uh, equation of the uh, cardioid uh, r uh, is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta so if we put r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta this is the uh, formula to find out the um, integral hmm. from 0 to uh, theta where is 0 you see uh, over here what is the question uh, it says uh, first that the, uh, give a rough sketch you don't uh, you you would not be uh, asked this kind of question that you have to draw all this sketch just you would be asked to find out the uh, to calculate the length of the curve hmm? uh, from the vectorial angle whose vectorial angle is pi by 3 for example over here. Hmm? so what you need to do out there uh, it would be from 0 to in place of theta you will have to put uh, pi by 3 and after that you just need to integrate hmm? what is r r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta so from this result you can find dr d theta okay you would be uh, able to compute the expression of dr d theta so you just uh, put uh, the uh, compute the expression of dy d, dr d theta and put it over here after that it is a matter of calculation with theta is equal to suppose pi by 3 hmm. so with theta is equal to pi by 3 you would get the corresponding results now uh, let me show you a few formulas of volume and surface of revolution uh, this is what is volume and surface of revolution you see suppose uh, we have a car let me show you this picture hmm. consider this kind of picture suppose we have a car over here this is one car okay this is one curve and about certain straight line hmm, about certain straight line if we rotate that curve okay about certain straight line for example we consider the x-axis about x-axis or about y-axis or about any arbitrary axis if we rotate that curve ultimately what we will get we will get some uh, figure like this maybe this kind of figure this would be the uh, this would this may be the axis uh, about which the curve is rotated and then you will get the spindle like shape hmm. this kind of shape over here it may look like a cup hmm. uh, so a cup like shape is there anyway so you would get some spindle like uh, shape and the um, then that the total surface area of this uh, three dimensional figure after rotation it would generate a three dimensional figure and the total surface area is called the um, surface of revolution and the volume of that uh, total um, this three dimensional figure that is called the volume of revolution why because uh, this area and volume have been generated uh, by the rotation of or by the revolution of a curve about certain axis that's why they call, uh, we call them the uh, surfaces uh, of revolution and volume of revolution okay so over here uh, you don't need all this uh, deduction what you need to know the formula hmm. suppose uh, a curve is uh, rotated about x-axis 
Hmm. Let me show you this picture over here. Suppose about x-axis, we uh, we are rotating a car. Hmm. About x-axis, we are rotating this kind of car. All right. Then uh, after rotation, you we would get uh, this kind of uh, this kind of this kind of uh, surface. Hmm. And uh, let me first show you the um, formula for volume of regulation. Hmm? How to find out the volume of regulation? You just consider an elementary, very elementary shape. Hmm? And then uh, just like the previous picture, hmm, you can consider this a very small uh, shape. And uh, in that case, if this is a very elementary strip, uh, suppose this uh, strip is of delta x or uh, this kind of delta x that has been proposed over here hmm. and then what would be uh, then if you can consider it uh, as the now if you rotate it hmm, then what will you get you see you will get a cylinder you look at this picture what you are getting over here you are getting a cylinder like structure this is the cylinder like structure this much hmm. This much would be cylinder-like structure. So if I if I draw them in this fashion, suppose you get this kind of expression, hmm, then this, then this much height, very small height, hmm, and then you get this kind of cylinder. This much this much length would be very uh, would be equivalent of dx. So this height would be is equal to dx hmm. and uh, if x is situated in this position suppose this is the position of x and say this is the height y hmm. suppose this is equal to y and this is the position of x this much this would be the position of x then you see this height y will behave like the radius this kind of radius hmm. And you see, uh, this is actually uh, would be equivalent to a cylinder whose radius, this radius, you see, this radius is equal to y and this height is equal to dx. Then what would be the volume of this uh, kind of cylinder? That volume would be is equal to pi y square dx. Got it? That would be the volume of this much small elementary area. Now, if we divide the total area into this kind of small elementary, uh, very small uh, elementary uh, segments, hmm, and then after uh, computation of their area, we just need to make the total summation or continuously speaking, that would be an integration. Maybe from x is equal to a to b. So in this way, we just find out the formula from integral from a to b pi y square dx. Look at this formula. Hmm. Look at this formula. Over here, the volume is from integral a to b pi. Pi is a constant. Therefore, we can shift it outside the integral sign pi y square dx. Got it? And if y is equal to f of x, then in place of y, we can write f of x. So in this fashion, we can find out the volume uh, of revolution, the volume of the revolution when a car uh, of the function given by the function y is equal to fx is rotated about x-axis. Hmm. Similarly, if it is rotated about y-axis, hmm, maybe like this, suppose this is the y-axis and this is the car, then after rotation about y-axis, we will get this kind of car like this, this like, like a funnel, hmm. we will get this kind of curve. So in place of the uh, y, the radius over here would be is equal to x, got it? That's why in that case, the formula would be a pi x square dy and then integral from correspondingly maybe y is equal to c to y is equal to b this may be this two may be the limits so whenever it is uh, rotated about uh, over here you see whenever it is rotated about x axis that is the formula pi x square dy then it's integral from c to d 
So these are the two formula that you need to remember. Okay. Whenever uh, the, in the question the proper axis of rotation will be provided, whether it is um, the x axis or y axis, it will be provided. Hmm. Now, for example, consider this figure, figure 18.2. Uh, circle is given. Hmm. Equation of the circle is x square plus y square is equal to a square. A circle is given. Now, it, whenever it is rotated about uh, about O x, that means about uh, x axis. Hmm. Uh, in that case, uh, whenever it is rotated, you see about x axis, whenever this kind of circle, this is 18.2, figure number 18.2, hmm, whenever it is rotated about x axis, what will you get? Whenever a circle is rotated about x axis, it would generate a sphere. Alright. Hmm. And uh, as per the question, uh, maybe uh, this much, uh, you require this much segment. So it would be mentioned in the question, okay? Whether you need, whether you need to compute uh, from these two segments or from the entire segment that will be given in the question. Hmm? So uh, suppose uh, throughout this entire segment, if we uh, if we consider if we need to consider this total upper half of the uh, sphere, if, uh, upper half of the uh, half of the circle. Hmm? In that case, whenever it is rotated about x axis. Hmm. In, in such cases, we will get a sphere. And what would be the um, lower and upper limit for x? You see, uh, over there, this x is a positive quantity on the right, and x is would be negative quantity on the left. Hmm. So uh, over here, this a comma zero is the coordinate of this point, and you know, the coordinate of this point would be is equal to minus a comma zero. All right. So over here, the left limit should be is equal to minus a, and the right limit of x should be is equal to plus a. Clear? Therefore, if we want to consider the uh, total variation, the total curve, we need in that case x would vary from minus a to plus a. Hmm. And what would be the formula? Pi y square dx. Therefore, in place of x1, we will have to find put minus a. In place of x2, we will have to put plus a. Hmm. So, if we put uh, all these results from minus a to plus a, you ultimately you can check. Uh, I am leaving this result for you. You can check the final result. You will get this result 4 by 3 pi a cube. That is a standard question in examination. Okay, so if we rotate the total upper half of the um, of the circle hmm, uh, from x is equal to minus a to plus a, you will get this result 4 by 3 pi a cube. Got it? This kind of circle x square plus y square. Hmm. And in that case, um, in that case, in place of y square, what you have to put in place of y square? What is the formula? Formula is equal to integral from minus a to plus a pi y square dx. Got it? In place of y square, you have to find out the expression of y square from this given expression of the curve. So y square should be is equal to a square minus x square. If you put this expression of y square in this integral, you would be fine finally be get this result 4 by 3 pi a cube okay so i am leaving this result as a homework for you hmm. this is a standard uh, question in your examination this is the final result 4 by 3 pi a cube okay and uh, one more uh, such a question is generally selected for just in place of circle, sometimes uh, we consider this kind of ellipse. Hmm? Whenever it is uh, rotated about x axis, we get one kind of um, geometric figure that is called spheroid. Hmm? So, uh, it is whenever it is rotated about x axis, it is called um, prolate spheroid. Whenever it is rotated about this uh, y axis, it is called oblate spheroid. So these are the corresponding results that um, about the major axis. This is the 
uh, volume of revolution and about the minor axis this is the uh, volume of revolution hmm. and sometimes uh, sometimes uh, such uh, curve is given as the parabola like this y square is equal to 4x so whenever it is rotated about x axis hmm, uh, bounded by maximum suppose a value of x is equal to x1 x is equal to 0 to x1 that would be the limit hmm. and in such cases uh, this is the final uh, figure that uh, finally you would get this result twice pi, uh, twice a pi x1 square all right you can go through this kind of uh, this kind of cycloid this kind of equation would be there x is equal to um, a into theta minus sine theta y is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta hmm? so in case of cycloid what would you do so if it is given in terms of parametric form you see the formula is uh, from lower limit to upper limit uh, y square dx then in place of y you will have to put this expression what is y y is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta hmm. so in place of y you will get this expression and how to compute dx dx has to be computed from this expression of x hmm. dx has to be computed from this expression of x got it and uh, over here you see uh, this uh, total curve is symmetric about this middlemost point. At the left point, theta would be 0. At the middlemost point, theta would be pi. And at this right point, theta would be equal to twice pi. Hmm. So you can um, compute uh, one part and then multiply this expression by 2. Hmm. You can uh, compute the contribution from one part and multiply it by 2 you will get uh, the final expression that's why we have this uh, 2 and you see the integral has been performed for this segment from 0 to pi hmm. this is from 0 and this is to pi that's why this limit 0 to pi has been taken okay so after the total computation this would be the um, volume of the evolution hmm. so you can consider different kind of uh, different kind of parametric form as well but you see this uh, whenever you it is represented in terms of polar coordinates it becomes a bit difficult and my advice you uh, my advice for you to please uh, try to avoid whenever the curve is given in terms of polar coordinates why because you see in whenever the curve is given in terms of polar coordinate as uh, as this picture hmm. In the upper portion, theta would vary from 0 to pi in the upper portion. So over here, in the upper portion, whenever the curve starts in this zone, the theta would vary from uh, 0 and up to this zone, theta would vary up to pi. Got it? So theta is varying from 0 to pi. No confusion is there about it. What is the problem? The problem is that you have to find out the expression of x, x is equal to r cos theta and the expression of y, y is equal to r sin theta. And then after that, you will have to put these two expressions, y square dx. Hmm. And dx can be written as dx d theta into d theta. So theta would vary from 0 to pi. Hmm. That's why uh, they have taken maybe pi to 0 you can consider it doesn't matter ultimately uh, you will have to consider the final expression in terms of a positive quantity hmm? so it doesn't matter whether you write it in terms of pi to 0 or 0 to pi uh, to me i think i should start from 0 to pi hmm? it doesn't matter ultimately you will get a negative sign so then after you you can take the modulus of that plate hmm? so it doesn't matter but the problem is that if you look at this expression, the expression is not very simple expression at all. Even if you put cos theta is equal to z, this is a complicated expression and computation of such expression in exam would be would, may be a difficult task. So that's why my advice is to attempt uh, this kind of uh, questions at last. If you do not have any other option, then only attempt this kind of questions. Hmm. So that's all about the uh, volume of revolution. Okay, and um, if you consider, if you want to go through some problems, you can go through this kind of problems. Hmm. 
um, maybe um, this is there is a printing mistake y square is equal to x cube this is a there is a printing mistake in this question hmm. so you can go through few examples from this portion now in case of surface of revolution the formula is this one uh, s is equal to twice pi integral from a to b y into ds ds can be written as ds dx into dx hmm. uh, so what is this uh, what is this actually we had this expression of s s was equal to the integral uh, of root over of 1 plus dy dx as i told you uh, at first today hmm. the length of the curve hmm. dy dx whole square into dx okay so from this result we can compute that ds simply this integral this differential ds can be considered to be is equal to root over of dx dx whole square plus integral dy whole square hmm. so whenever we have ds anywhere the, uh, in that case the corresponding if you want to find out ds dt hmm, then this dt would come under the root then we will have dx dt whole square divided by dy dt whole square hmm, uh, as you got this kind of result so it is a bit complicated uh, formula hmm? so you need to remember this kind of formula so this is one formula that you need to remember for parametric equation and this is the formula that you need to remember for cartesian equation okay and uh, you can go through this kind of problems uh, that uh, whenever you want to find out the uh, surface of revolution whenever this kind of upper circle is rotated about maybe about x axis then the total surface of the sphere hmm, that surface would be is equal to 4 pi a square so you can go through this kind of problems hmm. you can also uh, go through this kind of complicated problem but my advice is to please uh, try to avoid this kind of problem whenever it is given in terms of polar coordinates hmm. Over here, if you consider this kind of asteroid, the equation of the asteroid is x is equal to a cos cube theta plus and y is equal to a sin cube theta. So from there, uh, you can find out dx d theta and dy d theta and put uh, the corresponding expression in this formula. Hmm. In this formula, you can now easily compute the surface of revolution. Hmm. This would be the surface of revolution. But please try to avoid this kind of question. Whenever it is given in terms of polar coordinate, the, um, the formula becomes very, very difficult to compute. Apparently, it may look that, yes, it is given, it is a very easy question, hmm? but it becomes a bit uh, difficult to compute. All right. So, that's all about the um, su surface of revolution and volume of revolution.